Well, a judge accused of misconduct on the bench is now off a disputed case and criminal charges could be filed. Campbell County Sessions Court Judge Amanda Sammons is at the center of a growing controversy accused of overstepping her authority by attorneys and even another judge. One woman has been appealing what she calls unfair treatment by Judge Sammons, saying her charges were illegally changed. Sessions Judge Amanda Sammons facing four counts of official misconduct after investigators say she intentionally tried to harm three women. The TBI has been looking into rulings Sammons made during September of 2014 to January of last year. Investigators developing information, Sammons exceeded her official power as a General Sessions court judge. This is a copy of the 15 page indictment against Judge Amanda Sammons. Now it outlines her charges as well as her interim suspension. After the arraignment today, I went up to her attorney and asked if he would give an interview or a statement, but he declined both. Amanda Sammons ran for office in 2014, calling herself a blue eyed assassin with a low tolerance for foolishness. Since then, she's presided over many cases in Sessions Court, but today she was the subject of a court proceeding, specifically her conduct in the case of Krista Smith. The issue before this court is whether or not the General Sessions Court uh, should be recused from the case. Officers pulled Smith over in January because her children were not wearing seatbelts. She was arrested and charged with child endangerment. In a criminal courtroom, Judge Amanda Sammons clasped her hands. She's facing four Class E felony charges of official misconduct. And will your client enter a plea at this time? She will, Your Honor. And what is that? That uh, plea is not guilty to all charges. The uh, indictment speaks for itself. I don't really want to comment beyond that. Uh, Judge Sammons is entitled to a fair trial. So I don't want to do anything that would prejudice her. It will be a jury trial set to begin November 1st. What we've presented is what we've investigated. I'll just leave it at that. Our judicial process, it is not the judge's role to decide what a charge should be, whether a charge is sufficient. Because of that, Smith's attorneys asked for Sammons to remove herself from the case. She refused, but today, criminal court judge Shane Sexton ruled that she must, noting the district attorney's conference had asked for an independent investigation of Sammons into possible criminal conduct. Months ago, Judge Sammons was ruling on Scarlett the Puppy's case, found at death's door with a severe case of mange. Scarlett did not receive justice from Judge Sammons. At the time, Scarlett's owners were facing animal cruelty charges, but those were dismissed. Judge Sammons deciding there wasn't probable cause. I was shocked, actually, because it, to me, as a layperson, it seemed like a very cut and dry case. In the meantime, Sammons can't preside over a court, issue, issue warrants, or any other judicial until the Tennessee Board of Judicial Conduct says otherwise. And we are told by the district attorney general a class E felony for someone with no record is one to two years in jail, though the total range is dependent on criminal history.